Today we're going to look at getting started with Telerik's RAD property grid, part of Telerik's RAD controls for Windows Forms control suite. In this video, we're going to see what it takes to get started with the RAD property grid. The RAD property grid provides an easy and versatile approach to processing data objects property, utilizing its auto generation features and the intuitive custom editors capability. Users would be able either to display data in a way that best fits their needs or modify it with minimum effort. RAD property grid can be bound to an item with just a single line of code, and you may start exploring or editing its properties. The property editor controls are auto-generated, so text fields for string properties, date time pickers for dates, combo boxes for enums and booleans, RAD color picker for colors. In addition, RAD property grid allows flexible manual settings and customization of editors. The RAD property grid also supports scrolling operations via the touch interface. Let's go ahead and dive into Visual Studio 2010 and take a look at what RAD property grid has to offer. Now that we're back inside Visual Studio 2010, let's just go ahead and create a brand new project using this control. So we'll go File, New, Project. We're going to select RAD Controls for Windows Forms Applications. We're going to go ahead and we're going to give this a name. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Once we hit OK, uh, it brings us into our Project Configuration Wizard, Win Controls, and hit Finish. So now that our application is finished spinning up, we're going to actually go ahead and begin building this application. So we're going to double click on Form 1, and on Form 1, we're going to see a list of all of the RAD controls that's included in the Q3 2011 release. So what I'm interested in today is actually going to be the RAD property grid. So I'm just going to expand this screen just a little bit, and then I'm going to grab the RAD property grid onto the form. Once I have this onto the form, I'm just going to kind of position it nice and neat where we can see what we're working with. Now that we have the RAD property grid on the form, I'm going to add a couple of other controls. I'm going to add a RAD button, and then I'm going to add a RAD checkbox, and then finally I'm going to add a RAD radio button. Let's begin by taking a look at the smart tag inside of the RAD property grid. So as you can see from selecting the smart tag that we have several convenient options for you. You can change the theme. You can set the object that the RAD property grid will bind to. You can enable filtering, grouping, or sorting. You can also change the sort by options. If you click Show Help, then it will display information about the property in the box below. You can also select Show Search Box to allow you to search for a property of an object. Let's begin by binding the property grid to the RAD, bud, RAD button we placed on the form earlier. As you can see, the properties from the button are now displayed in the RAD property grid. Let's go ahead and run the application and explore one or two of these. So now our application is loaded. Let's go ahead and change the text property to something like Telerik. Let's also change the font and make the text bold and underline. One thing to note here is that if you enable show help on the RAD property grid, then it will display help text below. So if we select font, we can see we have some help text located below it for us. Let's go back to the RAD property and change a few more options. Now I'm going to check show search box and run this application again. Now that I've checked Show 
search box, we can see we have several new items at the top of our property grid, including A to Z, which will list our properties alphabetically. We can also group our items accordingly to the category that they're in. Then we can search for items. You may notice that the list will be narrowed down as I begin typing. You can also select the X to clear the items. One other thing to note is that your user can also right click on any property and have the ability to edit descriptions, etc. So we could right click, edit. We also have the ability to sort. And then the user could show description. As you notice, the description has been removed here. Add it back or show the toolbar enabled or disabled. Now that we're back on the designer, you can see that we have two other controls that we haven't used yet. You can set an array of objects as selected objects of RAD property grid. When you do, the RAD property grid will display only the common properties of all the objects in the array. A common property is considered a property that has the same name and type across all the objects. If the values of the properties in all objects match, this value will be displayed. Otherwise, there will be no value displayed for the given property. When you set a property in RAD property grid, the value is set in all objects. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit F7 to jump back into our code. Now I'm going to do a this.load. And now that we have our form one event handler created, I'm just going to simply create a objects array. And I'm going to put in my this.rad button one, radio button one, and our checkbox one. And then we're going to set the selected objects to the objects array. So if I run this application now, and if I wanted to change, say, the text property, you'll see that the text property of all the controls changed at once. There are several other things you may want to explore with the RAD property grid, including custom validation and adding in custom properties. I want to thank you for watching Getting Started with RAD Property Grid. Be sure to check out tv.telerik.com for more videos and check out blogs.telerik.com for the latest news and announcements. Feel free to give it a try now by downloading the demo at telerik.com.